Hello, I'm Dr. Jack Wolfson, board certified cardiologist, and welcome to my presentation, Coffee and Atrial Fibrillation. Now, for you coffee lovers out there who have atrial fibrillation, you are going to love this presentation. Again, I'm a cardiologist who spent 10 years in the hospital system, and then for the last eight and a half years, I've had my own practice called Natural Heart Doctor, where people from all over the world come to see me. But today, I wanna to talk about coffee and atrial fibrillation. Now, atrial fibrillation affects millions of people around the world. It means a lot of pharmaceuticals, it means a lot of dangerous procedures like ablations and even cardioversions. It also could mean a pacemaker, and certainly these people are at stroke risk. So I'm all about minimizing those things, strokes, heart attacks, symptoms from atrial fibrillation, but also minimizing pharmaceuticals and surgical procedures on that. And again, the answer is not pharmaceuticals and surgeries, because again, they are often ineffective. The have, they have side effects, of course, whether it's ablations or pharmaceuticals, they have side effects. There is a better way to deal with atrial fibrillation. And the answer, of course, is the healthy lifestyle and healthy nutrition. There's a picture of myself and my beautiful wife. We are out there on the trail, mountain biking. We eat the right foods. We get our sleep. We get our sunshine. And we avoid all of these environmental toxins and pollutants. So, we have a lot of different strategies for you regarding AFib, but today I want to talk about coffee. Can we st still drink coffee? That's what so many AFib people want to know. So let's talk about atrial fibrillation and coffee. Let's actually dive into the science a little bit to show you what's going on. Now, I will tell you coffee is better than medicine. It's often been said that food is medicine, Totally true. These foods get into your body. They have vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and nutrients, and it helps the body function. Of course, that's why we need to eat. We need to drink water. Well, if we choose the right coffee loaded with antioxidants, void of the bad stuff, now we're going to get some fantastic results. So I truly believe because of all the great things inside of coffee, that coffee is certainly better than medicine. I don't know about you, I would rather take and drink coffee than I would some pharmaceutical, and I believe you can do that too. So coffee drinkers are 40% less likely to have atrial fibrillation. This was just published in the year 2020 in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology, a widely acclaimed international journal. And what that showed again was that coffee drinkers have 40% less episodes that's better than any pharmaceutical. That's also as good as ablation. So instead of having some dangerous ablation procedure, would coffee be a strategy for you? The answer is yes. Here's another study that was uh, reported in the Journal of the American Heart Association. Coffee drinkers have less AFib. What this study showed was that drinking between one and three cups of coffee per day was that sweet spot. So this study actually showed six or more cups actually was beneficial when it comes to people with atrial fibrillation, the prevention of atrial fibrillation. And again, I'm going to tell you an even better strategy as we look towards the best coffee in the world. So I hope you're watching this right now. You're enjoying your cup of coffee. I know that I am. And I'm going to tell you again about if you're going to do it, do it the best way. Now, what makes coffee so beneficial? Why, why does coffee work? It's not just some magical thing. Well, what is so beneficial about coffee is that all of the antioxidants in there, all of the nutrients that are in there, the vitamins and the minerals that are inside the coffee, they help to lower inflammation. That's really, really key because inflammation is a major risk and, and factor that goes into atrial fibrillation. It's like your heart is on fire with all this inflammation. So coffee lowers inflammation, lowers oxidative stress, another cardiology buzzword that we often use and can measure. Again, the, all those micronutrients that are inside of the coffee, the magnesium, the potassium, the vitamins, including vitamin B5, which helps turn food into energy. Uh, I, 
Coffee tends to be very good for liver and good and, and supportive liver health. And if we have a good functioning liver, that of course helps lower the risk of atrial fibrillation. And coffee is actually proven to help improve blood sugar, again, linked to lower AFib and other health benefits. And then of course, better blood pressure with coffee drinkers as well. So a lot of different reasons on how coffee helps people with AFib. Now, this actually, this study showed that caffeine itself lowers your risk of AFib. So drinking caffeinated coffee is probably a better strategy for most people than drinking decaf coffee, although both are likely to provide significant benefits. And whenever, of course, you're drinking decaf, it has to be organic, as does regular coffee. So I'm going to tell you again about the best decaf version you can get coming up in a little minute. So it's interesting that that even the the compound caffeine, which occurs naturally in coffee, is actually associated with a lower risk of atrial fibrillation. Very cool. So coffee also it lowers heart rate. Believe it or not, it actually lowers your heart rate. A lot of people think that the caffeine and stuff is a stimulant, but overall it actually lowers heart rate, improves HRV, which stands for heart rate variability. And heart rate variability is very important as a marker when it comes to heart health. I don't want to dive too much into exactly what it is. Just know that coffee helps improve it. And coffee actually is a natural blood thinner. It's kind of like a natural aspirin, it has natural antiplatelet activity, fibrinolytic activity, really cool compound. And of course, most people know that caffeine and coffee tends to lead to better brains. And I got into uh, in, you know integrative cardiology because my father got sick of a Parkinson's-like illness. And that is what really spurred me to do what I do now to leave conventional medicine. And uh, again, if we can prevent Parkinson's and decrease our risk of dementia by drinking high quality coffee, I'm all you know good about that. Coffee drinkers live longer, that's in the literature as well. But the scariest thing about atrial fibrillation, of course, uh, why so many people, again, just suffer with this diagnosis is that people are concerned about stroke risk. Having a stroke is a major, major problem, obviously catastrophic strokes associated with atrial fibrillation. That's why so many people take pharmaceuticals. So many people have different procedures. And would you know that coffee drinkers have a 56% lower risk of stroke? Uh, this is from 2016. So this is really, really exciting. Again, that coffee can have all these different benefits. We talked earlier about coffee being a natural blood thinner, and we can see evidence that coffee drinkers have a lower risk, much lower risk of having a stroke. So another good reason to drink coffee. Now, pesticide exposure may increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. So we wanna make sure that we get the pesticides out of our coffee and out of our lives as much as possible. And in fact, pesticide exposure has been linked to a 300% increased risk of cardiovascular death. So we wanna keep the pesticides out of our coffee because uh, coffee is one of the most sprayed crops in the entire world. So we need to make sure we want to you know, drink it. So you want to drink coffee. Coffee is better than medicine. So I'm asking you, why not drink the best? If coffee is better than medicine, you can choose where you want to be on that spectrum. You can just have gas station coffee or you can have the big box conventional coffee loaded with pesticides or you can drink the best coffee available and I want to tell you about cardiology coffee because what we're looking for when it comes to an organic coffee is we want it to be organic so it's free of pesticides it's it's uh, mold mycotoxin free and it doesn't have any toxic metals or other impurities and that's what this is cardiology coffee is something that i invented it is 100 percent organic we had a third party tested there is no even though it's certified organic we had it tested again by a third party to make sure that there's no pesticides. I drink it, my patients drink it, my friends drink it, my family drinks it. So again, I wanna make sure that it is the best of the best. So we had it tested and to make sure there was no pesticides, glyphosate, all those kind of things in there. It comes from a single uh, Honduran farm. So uh, again, one farm in Honduras, and that farm in Honduras was started as a women's co-op in the early 1990s. 
my team has been down there to the farm in Honduras. I look forward to going down there myself uh, and actually meet the people that are helping to create this amazing product. And uh, the, the people down there, they're really thriving. And I'm gonna tell you how, in a little bit, how we support more of their community as well. Now we tested it again for mycotoxins. Mold mycotoxins are <clears throat> um, these pollutants released from mold or fungus that is so common on food and so common in coffee. So these mold mycotoxins get into the food system and we ingest them and they make us sick. It is all over the medical literature. Again, subject for another conversation that if you ever have questions about any of this stuff, email us at health at naturalheartdoctor.com. But we wanted to make sure that our coffee did not have any mold mycotoxins. And here are the findings here. You can see this whole section down here where that just shows you there's no mold mycotoxins that are detected. And we look for all these different ones there. So, uh, and then also we tested for metals. So there's no toxic metals. And like I said before, we tested it for pesticides, no pesticides that are in there. But what it is loaded with is heart healthy antioxidants. So you get all the good, you get uh, none of the bad, which is the most important thing. And of course it's roasted in Arizona like the rest of us. Kind of a joke that I have on the back of the bag that again, our product, it comes from Honduras, gets into Arizona, it's roasted, and then we ship it from Arizona fresh to you. So that freshness is absolutely key. And oh, you may be wondering, how does it taste? It's absolutely delicious. Uh, there is me enjoying a cup of coffee on a cold day, but I enjoy it on a hot day. I love coffee. Coffee is medicine. And you can tell other people like it as well. We've got 123 reviews on our website. We have a lot of people who absolutely love this product and I know you will as well. Satisfaction guaranteed. If you don't love the product, send it back to us. We'll give you your money back. Zero questions asked. We are here to help you have the healthiest heart possible and coffee is a fantastic strategy for that. So I want to also tell you that 5% of all our, our revenue, like everything that we you know, make uh, or, or you know, everything that is bought on our website, we donate back to a group called the Friends of Honduran Children. Wonderful. Um, uh, group and I know the founder of it. They've been around for 40 years. They help to support the health and wellness of the Honduran children. Not loading them up with pharmaceuticals, loading them up with the good stuff, and that's what this uh, uh, does. So uh, uh, here we've got uh, a program where if you buy three or more on subscribe and save, get a free Cardiology Coffee mug. CardiologyCoffee.com. The mug, by the way, the mug. I spent a lot of money finding the, you know, the right mug and on this mug, it is a made in the USA mug. It has been third party tested, doesn't have lead or mercury or cadmium. That is a common, that are common contaminants in typical mugs. So I wanted to make sure we had the best of the best for you. So again, I'm Dr. Jack Wolfson, board certified cardiologist. Enjoy your coffee. You're not gonna have interactions with pharmaceuticals you are not going to have any any <clears throat> negative issues uh, from drinking coffee if especially if you're drinking coffee already and you love drinking coffee make sure you drink the best of the best for you for your atrial fibrillation for the planet for the children of, of honduras again i'm dr jack wolfson cardiologist wishing you the best in heart health now and always